Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to look at solving a radical equation. In this one I have a cube root as opposed to a square root or a fourth root for that matter. When I solve radical equations I'm going to first of all isolate my radical on one side. It doesn't matter which. It's usually easier when the, the side that the radical is on makes it positive, which is the case right here. So I want to isolate my cube root of 4x minus 7. And to do that I'm going to move my 8. Since it's addition over here, I will subtract it from each side. Now I have the cube root of 4x minus 7 equals a negative 5. Now that my radical is isolated, I'm going to raise both sides to the index. In this case, it's 3. So I want to raise both sides to the third power. If it had been a square root, I would have raised them both to the second power. If it had been a fourth root, it would have been to the fourth power, and so on. What that does on the left side is it cancels my radical out, so simply I'm left with 4x minus 7. On the right side, I'm doing negative 5 to the third power. Now remember, that's not negative 5 times 3. That's negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 for a total of 3 times. So in this case, that becomes a negative 125. Now we'll continue to solve for my x by isolating it like a standard equation, which means I will add 7 here. In this case, it gives me a negative 118. I'll continue to solve for x by dividing by 4. So I have x equals negative 118 over 4. I can reduce that, since both are even numbers. I can reduce by 2. And I will get a negative 59 over 2. Now seeing that, I want to check this, because when you raise both sides of an equation to a power, you have the chance to create what's called an extraneous solution. In other words, just an extra solution, uh, something of a byproduct of doing the math this way. So to make sure that our answer is valid, we'll take our negative 59 halves and put it back into the original equation. So make sure I have enough space over here. And I will say the cube root of negative 59 halves times 4 plus 7 plus 8 equals 3. Make sure I have that right. Minus 7. Make sure that's why we want to check. So minus 7 inside the radical plus 8 equals 3. So I multiply 4 times negative 59 halves. Now with this, I can reduce. Now my 4 will reduce with a 2, making that a 1. And this is a 2, so 2 times negative 59 halves gives me a negative 118 minus 7, which becomes a cube root of a negative 125. Cube root of negative 125 is negative 5. And negative 5 plus 8 is indeed 3. So this checks out. So again, I isolate my radical, raise both sides to the appropriate power, continue to solve for x by whatever is necessary, solve and then check my answer, and I'm done.